Hello everyone. Let us solve uh, problems on frames by unit load method. So let us see the problem statement. Determine the vertical and horizontal deflection at point C for the frame shown in figure by unit load method. Take flexural rigidity EI is equal to 6000 kilonewton meter square. So EI is in standard unit kilonewton meter square. So here they have asked us to calculate what is vertical and horizontal deflection at point C. So ultimately, so we need to calculate. So what is delta C? Okay. So if I write this as VC, this is vertical displacement at C again delta hc that is horizontal displacement at point c okay if you remember the classic Nash theorem so we have assumed a concentrated load acting at point c so if you want to find vertical displacement vertically if you want to find horizontal deflection so horizontally similarly here we need to have a unit load in the direction where the deflection is required if you want to find the vertical the deflection at point c we need to apply the unit load that is one kilonewton at point c vertically then we need to apply horizontally one kilonewton to find horizontal deflection but the procedure so according to unit load method due to the external load first we need to calculate what is moment that is capital m due to the external load okay so that is mx then again due to unit load that is small mx okay so then equation 0 to l mx capital then mx small divided by ei into dx correct the same equation we will be using for this horizontal deflection also okay so now this is a frame so moment in the column and beam will be different so ab as one portion and bc as one more portion so we need to split it to two portions bc as one portion and ab as one more portion if you consider the bc portion so consider c as the origin cut the section here and consider at a distance x the section and calculate what will be the moment so if you are finding mx 10 into x that will be rotating clockwise so according to us cut a section rightwards if it is anti-clockwise plus 2 but it is rotating clockwise so it is minus 10x correct so minus 10x so once you find the moment in this region so next one is in b a region so always it's better to consider b as the origin at a distance x correct or else you can say y so how you are considered cash flow theorem either you use y or x anything is okay okay so now moment at this particular section will be so the load is here perpendicular distance will be the bc span that is 4 meters 10 into 4 so x or y it will not come into the picture okay suppose if you consider a as the origin so this as the distance x then you need to have the reactions vertical horizontal and moment you need to calculate all the reaction due to this load first then you need to consider a as the origin and the moment in a b portion so again it will be unnecessarily it will take time it's better to always start with free end that is from point c okay so let's look at here so vertical deflection first we'll find the vertical deflection step one consider the external load and section xx from for a point load okay so in bc portion c as the origin at a distance x so in ba region so b as the origin at a distance x okay so you'll be finding capital mx moment due to applied load so similarly now remove this external load then apply unit load that is one kilonewton at the same point where the deflection is required vertical deflection so again same sections in bc portion and ba portion 
so from c as the origin at a distance x from b as the origin at a distance x what is the moment that is small mx okay so the here it will be minus 10 into x so for this 10 into 4 so here minus 1 into x 1 into 4 for this particular section so here the moment of inertia is also changing so column is 2i and beam is i okay ba is of 6 meters bc is of 4 meters okay check it here in the tabular column so portion bc and portion ab so in bc portion c as the origin and uh, ab portion b as the origin limits 0 to 4 0 to 6 moment at section x due to the external load that is minus 10 into x minus 10 into x so here it will be 10 into 4 10 into 4 both are minus since they are clockwise so here similarly unit load minus x here so here it will be 1 into 4 meters bc span is of 4 meters so minus 1 into 4 okay ei so bc portion it is i so ab column is of 2 ei okay so you know the equation according to unit load method delta c the vertical deflection at point c is integration within the limit 0 to l capital mx into small mx divided by i into dx okay so this is for bc portion and this is for ab portion correct so a capital m so minus 10x into small m minus x similarly in ab portion minus 40 into small m is minus 4 so do the integration within the limits x into x it is x square if you do the integration x cube by 3 within the limit 0 to 4 10 is constant minus of minus it will become plus similarly minus of minus of plus 40 into 4 it is 160 into x okay 1 into dx so integration of 1 is x so then 0 to 6 is the limit substitute the values then ultimately you will be getting the deflection the vertical deflection as 693.5 3 3 by ei so here in this problem they have given the flexural rigidity also that is 6000 kilo newton meter square in standard unit they have given so you can substitute so that is 6000 so if you substitute the values so you will be getting 115.55 by sorry 115.55 mm okay after substitution of this ei okay so this is with respect to vertical deflection similarly they have asked us to calculate what is horizontal deflection so now we need to find what is the horizontal deflection but here we have not done it so let's see here so vertical and horizontal deflection if you can find the horizontal deflection so what we need to do is the same thing so we need to apply the unit force which is acting horizontally okay so here it is not done so but i will tell you the procedure how to go ahead so due to the external load so the this is same due to the external load the moments okay so at a section x it will be same and even this will be same but due to the horizontal load so instead of this so we need to apply 1 kilo newton which is horizontal okay if you apply 1 kilo newton so moment at a section x will be no 1 into x we cannot because it is passing through the same point of line of action correct there is no perpendicular distance so it is passing from the moment center so there is no moment in this bc portion so it is zero in a ba portion in ba portion it is so one into x rotating clockwise so minus one into x so here again if you write it so in bc portion it will be zero in ab portion it will be one into x okay that is minus x similarly substitute the values here and do the integration you will be getting what is 
the horizontal deflection at point C. Okay, so be careful with this horizontal deflection. So you need to apply this and moments. This is remaining same. Okay, just try this. So you will be getting the horizontal deflection. Okay, so then here if you can see the one more problem so we can understand here so here they have asked us to calculate determine the horizontal deflection yeah so here the horizontal deflection is asked at point d that is roller support of the rigid jointed frame shown in figure take x modulus and to moment of inertia that is flex zero sixty into 10 to 4 kilonewton meter square okay so here so at point d so since this is a roller yes we can say it can the have the deflection horizontally either rightwards or leftwards okay since they are asking us to calculate what is this horizontal deflection so we need to apply one kilonewton here in the direction of the deflection where it is required correct so step one is same that is due to the external load you need to find what will be the moment stored in all the members that is capital M then while finding small m you need to apply 1 kilonewton which is horizontal then again find what are the moments that is small m okay so step 1 to find the reactions for point loads okay that is 10 kilonewton here and 10 kilonewton here so total how many portions you need to consider here total three portions one is a b b c and c d okay a b b c c d so in previous problems whatever we have solved either in uh, strain energy method or cash energy method most of the problems were cantilever type of frames wherein this support was not there so if it is there also we can go ahead with this so first thing is what we need to find the reactions correct so support a is hinged two reactions vertical and horizontal support d is roller one reaction vertical so we need to find what is this vertical so similarly we need to find what is this vertical and what is this horizontal reactions using your equilibrium conditions so in d as the origin in cd portion cut a section x here similarly in bc region so cut a section x c as the origin so in ba portion so similarly x at a distance x okay so here this figure is showing so first find the reactions ra rd ha so if you apply sigma h is equal to 0 so ha is there and 10 kilonewton is there plus ha rightwards plus 10 equal to 0 ha equal to minus 10 we have assumed the ha horizontal but it is not horizontal it should be sorry horizontal rightwards but it should be horizontal leftwards correct we have assumed rightwards but it should be leftwards minus 10 so which is leftwards so similarly if you take moment about d equal to 0 so we'll get what will be the reaction at a so that is ra into 5 meters the bc spine is 5 meters perpendicular distance so ra into 5 plus ha into 0 there is no perpendicular distance they are at same level plus 10 into 5 so this 10 into 5 so it is rotating clockwise at point d so this column height is 5 meters 10 into this perpendicular distance is 5 meters due to this 10 so it is passing through the moment center there is no perpendicular distance it is 0 so if you do this you will be getting ra as 10 kilo newton correct so we are getting ra as 10 kilo newton but it is downwards okay we have assumed upwards but we are getting downwards negative signs so it is downwards similarly if you apply sigma v equal to 0 you will be getting rd rd as upwards only that is 20 kilonewton so ra you got ha you got and rd you got so ra is 10 kilonewton so rd is 20 kilonewton and ha is 10 kilonewton leftwards okay so once you find the all the reactions so start with either considering the section so here if you consider the section here in cd portion d as the origin this is the section x so here if you consider c as the origin then section should be here correct if you consider b as the origin the section should be here okay so how we have followed in previous problem but here 
so in this problem we have changed it however we have found the reactions so we can change it the sections can be considered like this so in cd portion d as the origin this is x so only right hand side if you consider you will get what will be the moment at this section so in here that is a b portion a as the origin so if you consider a section here so due to this the moment so what will be the moment here if you consider a as the origin so two loads so one is ha and ra so due to ra moment at this section will be zero due to ha moment about this section will be ha into x correct cut a section leftwards clockwise positive but it is anti clockwise so minus ha into x similarly here b as the origin so consider section due to ra the clockwise yes it is same so positive ra into x due to 10 kilonewton there will not be any movement at this particular section because it is passing through the movement center so just check with the tabular column first so portion ba pc cd okay portion ba b c and c d correct b a or a b b c or c b c d or d c so a as the origin here so b as the origin here then d as the origin here a b and d so limits so all are of span 5 meters so 0 to 5 0 to 5 0 to 5 now check with the movements okay in b a portion so which is the b a portion this is b a portion so at a distance x so due to ra moment is zero due to ha ha into x so that is ha into x that is 10 into x ha is 10 so 10 into x correct so similarly bc portion so this is bc portion so in bc portion the moment okay so b as the origin so here you are cutting section means you are considering entire left hand side fair in so ra will come and ha will come and this 10 kilonewton will come due to 10 kilonewton so it is zero due to ra ra into x rotating cut a section rotating if it is left hand side clockwise positive yes cut a section left hand side it is rotating clockwise so ra into x so that is ra into x then sorry due to ha this is rotating anti clockwise so about this point this is rotating anti clockwise since it is anti clockwise minus if it is clockwise then plus so anti clockwise so it is uh, perpendicular distance is 5 meters so h a into 5 so h a into 5 which is minus okay so minus h a is 10 so minus 10 into 5 plus r a is 10 10 into x so you will be getting minus 50 plus 10 x so similarly cd portion so this portion so d as the origin rd due to rd moment about this nothing because there is no perpendicular distance it is zero okay so due to the external loads you have found what will be the moments so now so we are asking sorry uh, they have asked us to find what is the horizontal deflection at point d so we need to have the horizontal load so rightwards 1 kilonewton we have assumed okay in the direction of uh, load if you get the answer then it is positive or else if you are getting negative then it will be upwards to that whatever we are assumed correct so 1 kilonewton at point d the where the deflection is required we are applied then again find the reactions due to this one ha will be opposite to this so 1 kilonewton leftwards obviously sigma h is equal to 0 ultimately we will be getting so this ha leftwards if it is rightwards assumed this ha will be leftwards then take moment about any other particular point if you take moment about d equal to 0 due to ra ra dash into phi equal to 0 there are no other loads only 1 kilonewton because you have removed all the loads only 1 kilonewton should be applied so ultimately you will be getting ra as 0 so even if ra is 0 rb will be 0 sigma v equal to 0 ultimately rb v equal to also 0 these are not rb it is rd okay rd is also 0 so once you get this so take the moments in all the portions so if you consider a uh, ba portion here so ha is 1 is there 1 into x so ha into x that is 1 into x 
similarly in this portion so again ha is there ha into 5 meters ha into 5 meters since it is acting anti clockwise minus so again so in here in cd portion so 1 into x it is rotating anti clockwise so cut a section from rightwards if it is anti clockwise positive so 1 into x it is positive so when you are finding the moments please take care of this you need to stand inside the frame and you need to look like this so if you want to look ba column so opposite to that if you look the cd column opposite to that ba beam so opposite to that okay so then it will be clear with your uh, uh, sign convention cut a section leftwards rightwards okay so ei the moment of inertia they are changing in problems so column this is i this is 1.5 i this is i okay i 1.5 i and i 1 1.5 1 okay so once you get this so apply unit load method that is 0 to l capital mx small mx divided by e into dx so there are total three portions so for all the portions m into m capital m into small m capital m into small m correct so here small m capital m into small m so do this within the limit integrate this so ultimately you are going to integrate in terms of x okay within the limits after substitution so please check with this integration part so ultimately you will be getting delta d that is horizontal deflection at d as 833.33 by ei so here in this problem they have given the value of ei that is uh, how much 6 lakh kilonewton meter square just let me check this once some um, yeah yes 60 into 10 days to 4 kilonewton meter square yes 60 into 10 days to 4 means 60 after 4 digits yes total 5 digits 6 lakhs if you substitute the values you will be getting 1.388 into 10 dish 2 minus 3 meters or else 1.388 mm okay this is horizontal deflection at point d where the roller end is provided okay so similarly whatever we have done here the same type or same kind you can do to find the horizontal deflection in this previous problem okay one kiloton i had explained the procedure but still so just check with that okay what is the answer you are going to get similarly let us see one more problem on frame wherein uh, again we need to find the vertical and the horizontal deflection at free end e so this is e end so again it is like a cantilever type of uh, frame so wherein you need to find vertical and horizontal deflection so at point e so ei is given again 20000 kilonewton meter square so it is given in standard units okay so again we need to go ahead with uh, the same procedure whatever we have discussed first vertical deflection so how many members here ab one portion bd one more portion de one more portion okay so here this time it is not necessary to find the reactions can you tell me why so here it is cantilever type of frame so i can cut a section here so i will start from this end so there is no reaction so again i will cut a section here and i will consider right hand side then again there is no reaction so again i will cut a section here i will consider the entire end right hand side so this as x okay again i may not require to find the reactions but like previous problem if i cut a section here and if i consider x then i need to have this vertical reaction this horizontal reaction and this moment all the three i need to find it okay it's better i will not find these reactions i will start from free end considering the sections so see here so in ED portion E as the origin at a section XX in BD portion D as the origin at a section X correct so then again 
in BC portion. So again, just a minute. So this particular problem, there is a concentrated load acting. So again, moment. So in BC and CD, it is going to change. Okay. So again, we need to have two portions. Again, in BD only, we need to have two portions. So total in this problem, total four portions are required. Why? So this BD beam, so concentrated load is there. Whenever you come across a concentrated load, then the moment in each region, it will change. So this is uh, one more type of problem where we need to take care of this also. So total how many portions? So here one that is DE, then again CD one portion, then again BC, again C as the origin, again cut a section. So from this end only, right hand side, okay, the distance X, this is BC as one portion and BA as one more portion. So B as the origin. So this, if you consider this open, this particular frame, it will be something like this. This is point A. Okay. So this is point B. This is point C. This is point T. Okay, A, B, C, D and A, B, C, D, E. One more is there. So this is E. Okay, this is like a beam. So you are started with E point as the section X. At here D as the origin, section X. Here C as the origin, section X. Here B as the origin, section X. So from E section, from D section, from C section, and from B section. So here check it here. E, X, D, X, C, X, B, X. I hope you are getting what I am telling. Okay. So whenever you come across a concentrated load, split into again two portions. Please take care of this. Okay. Then due to the applied load, find what will be the moment. So that is M, X. Okay. Just check it here. So portion just check this table column then we can see this so ed cd bc ab ed cd cb and ba correct or ab so origin ed cb e d c b correct so then limits so 0 to 4 0 to 4 0 to 0 to 5 0 to 4 0 2 4 0 2 2 then 0 2 this is 5 this is 5 meters this is 2 meters this is 4 meters this is 4 meters okay that is written here so mx that is moment in this there is no load here acting at point t e, so 0 so again here also it will be 0 because there is no load so from this section towards the entire thing so this is a section this right hand side nothing is there so if nothing is there then again moment will be zero okay so here zero here zero then here in cb portion yes there is a concentrated load the moment will be 40 into x 40 into x since it is rotating clockwise so according to our sign convention cut the section then if it is anti-clockwise positive but this is rotating clockwise so it is minus 40 into x so in a b region so now 40 will come into picture so you are taking moment about this point so perpendicular distance will be this so what is that 40 into this perpendicular distance how much is that 2 meters 40 into 2 40 into 2 again it is rotating clockwise so minus minus 40 into 2 it will be minus 80 okay similarly second step that is we need to remove the external load so the point load was acting at c we need to remove at point c and where the deflection is required we need to apply the unit force so the deflection is required vertical and horizontal at free end means at point e correct so we are finding vertical deflection so either we can consider a downwards vertical deflection or else we can consider upward vertical deflection okay so here we have considered upward vertical load that is one kilonewton so let me check the answers so if we are getting the positive value then the in the direction of displacement if it is negative value it is opposite to the direction of displacement
okay so again same sections so de cd cb and ba four regions the same regions moment at x so here due to one kiloton the moment at xx it will be zero because it is passing through the moment center there is no perpendicular distance correct similarly here yes there is a perpendicular distance this is the line of action of force so 1 into x it is rotating anti clockwise so plus 1 into x correct so then again so bc portion 1 is there so total from here to here this will be the perpendicular distance that is x plus 4 so 1 into x plus 4 1 is here and perpendicular from here to here it is from here to here it is x from here to here it is 4 meters so total will be x plus 4 1 into x plus 4 then again moment about this point the same perpendicular distance this total entire thing so 1 into total is 6 meters so 1 into 6 meters so ei is constant everywhere so then need not to worry for this flexural rigidity so then go ahead with the unit load equation that is delta e vertical deflection mx into mx divided by e into dx so total four regions first region second region third region fourth region so capital m into small m so here so capital m into small m zero so this into this again it will be zero because zero into anything is zero so only you will come with these two as the values correct so that is this and this capital m into small m capital m into small m okay so again integrate it within the limits so 0 to 5 0 to whatever the limits are there so substitute the values ultimately we will be getting the negative value so please check this the answer what we got here is negative value how we have assumed the uh, unit load so we have assumed upwards but we are getting negative value means the deflection the vertical deflection is opposite to what we are going to assume so it is not vertically deflected at point e it is downward deflection so it is not vertical deflection it is deflecting downwards okay so minus 2826.66 by ei so ei value is given so that is 20000 kilonewton meters per substitute so we'll be getting 0 0.1413 meters or minus 141.44 mm okay it is downwards okay so i hope you got this so do this integration part carefully okay so then horizontal deflection okay the same problem the horizontal deflection so the due to the external load the moments this it will be remaining same okay the point load was acting at c so the whatever the moments we have found in all the portions it will be remaining same only thing we need to concentrate on horizontal unit load at point e rightwards we are assumed so in all the regions again check what will be the moment that is small m okay so what is that in this 1 into x minus 1 into x rotating anti clockwise cut a section rightwards anti clockwise positive so here you need to check it like this okay so cut a section so anti clockwise so it is 1 into x so similarly here so 1 into perpendicular distance is total how much is this they have given 4 meters 1 into 4 so similarly here at this section 1 into perpendicular distance is this only 4 again similarly here for this point okay force is here so we want the perpendicular distance this is load is acting like this the perpendicular distance is this how much is that if this is 4 meters this entire thing is 5 meters okay so this is 4 meters this entire thing is 5 meters the suction from origin b up to here it is x okay what is remaining this minus this that is up to here 4 meters so x minus 4 x minus 4 is remaining 
correct so x minus 4 into 1 which is rotating now it is clockwise correct it is rotating now clockwise cut a section left hand side so if it is clockwise positive but here we are taking from right hand side so it will be minus okay so this is the value so again uh, substitute it and uh, calculate for horizontal deflection you will get the answers do the integration and ultimately you will be getting what will be the answers okay similarly one more problem wherein uh, you need to determine the vertical and horizontal deflection at free end uh, that is at d so for the frame shown in figure by unit load method ea value in standard unit they have given correct so now check with the procedure again a b b c c d so compared to the previous problem and this problem what is the changes so b c the udl is there so a b exactly at point b there is a horizontal load so the same procedure like previous problem there is no absolutely change in the sections also so from the free end only we can start so from d consider a section at a distance x from c consider a section at distance x from b consider a section at distance x okay so you will need not to find these reactions okay so if you consider from point a as the uh, origin then reactions are required or else if not not required so consider a section xx then similarly second step unit load to find the vertical displacement one kilonewton so this time we are assumed downwards okay so three portion a b b c c d origin b origin c origin d limits 0 to 4 0 to 4 0 to 2 so just check it here moments so in c d portion it is 0 so c d portion it is 0 because here there is no load in b c portion so due to here nothing is there due to udl that is 30 into x into x by 2 in c b portion 30 into x into x by 2 so since it is rotating clockwise so minus 30 into x into x by 2 you will be getting minus 15 x square similarly here so due to this 50 into x so minus since it is clockwise due to this 30 30 into total span is 4 meters 30 into 4 into 4 by 2 correct 30 into 4 into 4 by 2 so that is one more is 50 into x minus so you will be getting this moment similarly when you apply unit load so this section in cd portion it is 0 so here it is 1 into x 1 into x that is minus x here again it will be 1 into 4 this will be the perpendicular now 1 into 4 since it is clockwise minus minus 4 so flexural rigidity is constant i i i so it is 1 1 1 so then apply unit load method equation so substitute the values do the integration part so ultimately the vertical deflection you are getting after substitution of this ei as 0.32 meters okay or 320 mm 0.32 meters or 320 mm okay so the capital m into small m so total uh, three regions in all the three regions substitute the values correct three regions right one two three yes so do this you will be getting 320 mm as the vertical displacement similarly if you want to find the horizontal deflection so we need to assume the unit load which is acting horizontally okay here we have assumed leftwards so whatever the answers we are going to get if you are getting negative answer so the deflection is not leftwards it should be rightwards if you are getting positive answer the deflection is also leftwards only okay so horizontal deflection again the same thing uh, cd as one portion d as the origin find this is going to remain same like previous problem so only here 1 into x okay so cut a section rightwards so it is clockwise if it is anti-clockwise positive so it is 1 into x that is minus x so similarly here so 1 into again 2 meters 1 into 2 perpendicular distance is this okay that is 2 meters then again in this section so that is in the ab portion the section is from here to here 
so from here to here it is 2 meters this is 2 meters the load is acting here okay so it is rotating now clockwise so total is x this is 2 so remaining is x minus 2 now it is rotating like this correct so anti-clockwise since it is anti-clockwise from right hand side it is positive so what is the moment 1 into x minus 2 1 into x minus 2 moment of inertia is same okay so apply unit load method so in all the three regions find this 0 to 4 0 to 4 do this integration part so substitute the value of ei so you are getting with uh, without ei that is uh, 373.34 by ei so if you substitute the value ei ultimately you are getting the horizontal deflection as 0 0.0186 meters or 18.66 mm so since we are getting positive value so here unit load what we have assumed is leftwards so this is leftwards only the leftward deflection okay absolutely there is no change in this okay so please go through this okay integration part so all the problems on frames are similar kind so you need not to worry about calculation part just check with the procedure and go ahead with the problems okay so if you want to find the vertical deflection we need to apply vertical 1 kilonewton if you want to find the horizontal deflection we need to find horizontal 1 kilonewton so capital m due to the application of external moments so it will be remaining same if you find vertical or horizontal then small m is uh, the due to 1 kilonewton vertical or horizontal okay so let us stop it here so in next class we will discuss the problems on uh, trusses the truss problems are remaining so we can uh, discuss the truss problems in next class thank you